Hey everyone, this is Scabcat2 for Tune. Here's my review on the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Darth Vader figure. So, this was a figure I've been long waiting to get from my collection. I got this a while ago to convention, and I gotta say, this figure is really cool. Uh, probably the best in the Black Series line, and I just think it just came out really good. Um, the helmet, uh, the details on his armor. I like the fact that he has soft goods, so like he has a cloth cape in the lower half of his robes. I mean, really like it a lot. Uh, I would probably have to say for those who do not collect figures in this scale, this is probably a must get just as a display piece. I, I think it just came out really good. Uh, yeah, the figure's really nice. Uh, so let's see, let's get to what his accessories are. So I'm going to point out the helmet is removable, which is really great. So just pop that off. And there you can see uh, Anakin Skywalker without his helmet. And I think the face looks pretty good. They even got some pretty good detailing on the back of his head with the scarring and then um, there's the the lower half of his mask and I'm also going to point out too with the cape now it's kind of attached to his um, armor both here and there I kind of would have preferred if they would have just had you just attach the cape to his um, the chain of, the chain of his neck but you gotta have to be a little bit careful about that because that might rip over time but I'm gonna point that out and the helmet just pops right back like that and of course he has his red signature lightsaber and that holds pretty well in his hand and you can't take the blade out and hold that now I wish he would have had a way to store that like the other figures there is no peg anywhere you could put on his belt but that's not a total loss um, one thing I kind of wish this figure would have came with was interchangeable hands uh, it would have been cool if he would have had a, a clenched fist hand and like a f open hand like he's choking someone. That's what, what, one accessory I would have liked to see, but overall I think the figure is great. So let's take a look at articulation. So head, of course, smooth side to side. Has a pretty good joint in the neck. It uh, looks about that up high. Looks that down that much. Of course, uh, Ball joint in the shoulders, side to side, uh, single joints in the elbow. Uh, we got wrist articulation, and there's a hinge in the wrist as well. We got an okay ab crunch, goes that back and forward, a bit of side to side. We got leg joints and a thigh swivel, double joints in the knees, and of course, ankle pivot. So, this figure is goes about 20 bucks in retail. I was lucky to get him at a convention for that price. Uh, really great figure. Now I know that there is a, well, I think the import version of this figure, which is the SH Arts uh, Death Vader. Um, that figure probably is cooler, but I mean, if, for those collecting on a budget, this is probably the way to go if you want a possible uh, Vader figure. Um, I think it's definitely worth picking up if you get him at a decent price. He's a must get. So hope you enjoyed this review and may the force be with you.